How's it going? It's PM Designs. And if you happen to watch the vlog I did, um, this was probably about a week ago now, I was mentioning that I was looking at making my own version of the Platypod, or not making, but assembling my a variation of the Platypod, or basically just a low-angle um, tabletop-style tripod or camera support. Um, so this is... What I've come up with, this is basically bought two different things on Amazon, attached them together, and this is what we have. Um, first off, this is the Desmond D E S M O N D F Pod F P O D one. Um, sorry, it's upside down. There you go. Um, I don't. I think it was just like a tabletop tripod or table stabilizer or something. Um, I forget what the actual description of it was, but Desmond F Pod One is what it is, and I want to say it was about twenty nine bucks whenever I purchased it. And this is August of uh, twenty seventeen. So, um, the next thing I bought was another one of the uh, the Man Billy um, compact ball heads. I think it's a compact ball head, um, and this is compatible with the uh, the Man Frodo plates. Works good with the the ones I have the that have the black rapid strap uh, piece put on there. I forget the, the brand, but I got them on Amazon. Um, they're not Manfrotto genuine parts or, or black rapid. They're made by some other uh, person. I think it was a Kickstarter thing. Um, but wanted this to be something that I could easily set up um, for some low angle stuff. My intention is to use this with my A6000 with 18 to 200. And I was just wanting to test it with my a7 which is which I have here and um, I actually wish I would have grabbed it but I didn't but um, it holds the weight of my a7 with my 24 to 70 to 8 um, G master lens it holds it just fine um, having it you know going with the lens going this direction so it has the most surface area going that way um, really with anything um, especially when you're dealing with a small footprint kind of stand and you're dealing with different angles, keep camera safety um, num as a, a big concern. Um, don't put it somewhere where you can, your camera can get damaged. Um, my intention is to, to rig up some kind of little tethering thing to where if I'm doing something with it, I can tether this uh, mount off to something nearby. That way, if something if it does wobble or, or tip over or something or wind or uh, accidental bump by myself or, or something, it doesn't go falling over. But this is, to in, in my opinion, pretty pretty stable for what I, I was expecting. The one thing I'm looking at doing is um, uh, removing these, removing this screw, and then getting some replacement screws that I can, you know, adjust the the level of the legs. I might do something using these rubber stoppers or I may do something like um, how they're done on the platypod where they they have little spikes on one end and, you know, this and the other. I'm, I've been kind of toying around with some different ideas for that. Um, but like I said, this is just my little thrown together um, camera support for what I was looking for. Um, as I said, and with anything... You know, it's up to you to make sure that your camera is stable and that what, how you have it set up can support what you're wanting to do and all that. Um, you know, if your camera goes tumbling off the mountain, you know, it's on you, not me. Um, but so there you go. This is what I've come up with. Um, you know, this is definitely really solid. I believe this is made of aluminum. And, and as you can tell, I mean, this. That's, I'd say, about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, this has three-eighths threading on it. The bottom of the, tri of the ball head has three-eighths threading. Um, there is, if you can see right here, and you can see a little better on the bottom, a little uh, Allen head screw, that if your tripod head base is a little bit wider, you can uh, tighten that down to keep the head from spinning. But you also have this little knurled knob to help you tighten it down, as well as an Allen Head in the middle so you know it's, this is definitely uh you know for 30 bucks I, th I think this piece is definitely worth the money um i like the the ball head the ball head's like i want to say 25 dollars um 
you know, obviously an off-brand third party, but you, know, you can put whatever ball head that you need for for your particular uh, mount setup that you're using. Um, I don't know what the weight capacity on this is, but I mean, I I, I can see it supporting, you know, so much so as long as your center of gravity, you know, the bigger you get on here, you're dealing with a limited size base here, so. Um, but like I said, for what I'm looking for and and the little bit of testing I did, it, it's supporting my A7 with the 24 to 72 8 just fine. Um, if you do make a rig like this or something similar, just make sure that the camera that you're putting on here, camera, lens, audio equipment, anything that you're putting on here, that it is, you know, that it's stable. Um, you know, you don't want your gear tumbling off, tumbling over and getting damaged, so... Just, you know, when you're doing something like this, you know, take that into consideration. The one thing I do like, um, which as you can see, I mean, this has multiple holes in it, you know, to kind of reduce the weight. But my intention is to also use these as um, I can, you know, get in like a, a belt or something or, you know, some kind of like a binding strap or, or some of that, uh, that Velcro where both sides have... Uh, one side's hook, one side's loop, um, you know, some bungee or something to where I can, you know, put this on something and then brack, you know, use it to hold this down, you know, to say like around a lamp post, a tree, a park bench, stuff like that. So to me, I think this, you know, I was able to put something together and what I need, it works. Um, obviously it's not the thinnest, not the lightest, but I think it'll, you know, for what I needed and the price, I'm happy. So I'm going to put the links to this plate and to this ball head in the description. Thank you for watching. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get some video of this actually being used. Thank you.